Hey guys, welcome to the Roller Coaster Project. In this video, we finish up the ride structure, and we're going to start off with the design. I did everything in sections because this is what is easier for Fusion to handle. So what does this look like in a profile and plan view? The plan was dictating where this ride was going to go. I kept it simple using only circular curves as far as plans go. This is what we have for a vertical profile. This blue line represents the rider center line or what I chose to be the rider center line. If we take this vertical profile and we apply it over the plan, we end up with this 3D curve. From our track center line, this is where we have our brackets. From that, it's put in piece by piece, almost like a puzzle. Fusion has a cool new feature which allows you to arrange the pieces on a flat pattern and spaced out so that way there's no interference with the end mill. This is of course exaggerated, it doesn't need to be this far apart, but realistically off of two of these sheets I can machine the entire coaster in less than three hours. Guys, I have something to announce. I'm going to be releasing a Patreon page. With the Patreon, the videos not only will be more in depth, I can answer some of your questions and I'll have those listed out in the tiers. At the time of this video release, the Patreon will be live and there will be two tiers. The two tiers are Coaster Enthusiast and Ride Operator. Be sure to check out the Patreon. I'll have a link in the video description. To get started, we place the wood on top of the Shape Oko, just as the previous videos, and we use screws without adhesive. The initial operation will be drilling the holes that'll hold the track brackets. Next, we profile cut the bents. Unlike my previous videos, which you can check out up here, I didn't have any issues. Holding tabs are currently the best option when holding the material while cutting. With all machining work completed on the Shapeoko, it's time for some light sanding followed up by removal of the tabs with the oscillating tool. The largest hassle with building this little coaster is really finishing the bents once they're machined. If you guys have a better method, please leave a comment down below. With the bents removed, final cleanup is performed with needle files and some flat 180 grit sandpaper. While I was wrapping up the last pieces of the structure, the power went out. Fortunately, I wasn't machining at the time. However, I couldn't complete the bridge. So what's next for the roller coaster project? Installing the track, building the cars, mechanical install, and finally, testing the ride. Those will come up in the coming weeks. Thank you for following along, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to check out the Patreon page, link in the description. Yeah.